and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share all the embellishments that I use uh, on my colouring pages. Uh, I didn't make this, um, I'm going to call it a tag, I didn't make this tag up. I stole the idea, although I did ask, I asked permission could I um, use this idea in my videos from Colouring with Kay. So she's done it in two or three parts I believe, I think. But I think I'm just going to go for one long video and explain what I use each of the mediums for. So let's just get started. So I'm going to start with the very basics of uh, white gel pens and a uh, black fine liner. So the reason that I use the black fine liner is uh, if I've used black acrylic in the background and I've missed any areas or I've gone over the picture with pan pastels and some of the lines are quite faded out. I used the, the Copic Multiliner in 0.3. I've not had any problems with this fine liner. As you can see, the nib is super duper tiny. So that's all I use for my black, black fine liners. And I do use three different white, well one of them's not a white gel pen, one of them's a paint pen. So I use the 0. Point, is it 0. 0.3? 0. 0. 0.7. The tip on that is super duper tiny. I will swatch some of these products out as I'm going, but obviously there's no point in me swatching white. I haven't got any black paper. And then I use the Uniball Signal. I think this is just the fine one, I believe. I think it's just the fine one. I don't know if they make any other types. And then the Sakura Jelly Roll in white. I don't use this all that often, as you can see it is quite full. But if for whatever reason I want to change it up, that's the one that I go with as well. So we'll stay with the pens. We've got... These were actually my son's years and years ago and he stopped using them, so I'd take them off him. Actually, I will get... If I can find it, I've got a little swatch boot that I just keep handy, as you can see. <laughs> I'll just go through some of the colours with you. I don't use these all that often, but they are there if I want them. I've got straw yellow. I don't know if some of these actually still work. That one's okay. And then I've got light green. That one's okay. And then I've got sky blue. The only way that I've actually used these is if I've gone in with a plain black background or pan pastel background. I use these just to add dots or lines, that sort of thing. So this is a nice creamy colour and that is in beige. Then we've got lilac. do dry quite quickly as well these uh, pens. Uh, light orange, the nib on that one isn't leaking the greatest, it's uh, frayed a little bit. And then we've got grey, which that one looks like it's running out a little bit. It's good that I'm doing these sort of videos because I can get rid of some of the old stuff. And then this white, I did buy this myself. And there is some pink I think it mixed in that. And what's this one? Gold. And that one's still quite juicy. It's quite shiny that one actually. So that's all the paint pens that I currently own. I won't go through and swatch all my gel pens because you'll be here for hours. So I've got a mixture here. I've got the my well my favourite gel pens, the Pentel Hybrid Duos. Uh, I think I've got the 8 pack, but I've got 2 packs of the 8 packs because I bought back up uh, purely for this colour. I should just order this on its own. I think this is the fourth one that I've gone through with this colour and it's orange and metallic yellow. It's absolutely beautiful. It's really good for any sort of flames in pictures. Really, really nice. I've got a mixture of the Sakura Jelly Rolls, like I said. Uh, there's metallic, there's neon at the bottom here. There's, I think there's Stardust, I mean there's all, there's all kinds, there is a, a clear one there as well. 
I did have the Winker Stella, but I've run out of that. I've used all that up. I've got some other random paint pens. Derwent. I believe I got them ones. I think you just had to pay the postage and you got the actual pens for free. They were doing like testers. Line marker. Yeah, just a good mixture of gel pens. I'm quite happy with this selection. I've got no urge to go out and buy any more gel pens. Like I said, I'm quite happy with that collection. I'll just restock it as I go, you know, as I'm running out of colours. And again with pens, my loved Spectrum Noir Sparkle pens. I think this is three different sets, I believe. I've got the swatches in my little swatch boot to save me doing that. I do believe I have swatched these out. I want to say I have. But now when I'm looking for the swatches, I won't be able to find them. Right, so that's gel pens. There we go. So that's all the sparkle pens that I own. I've got two of the crystal clears and these are very, very, if not identical to the Winker Stella. That's why I've not bought another Winker Stella once I've used it because they, they do the same job. You know, they add a bit of sparkle over the top, so I have got a backup because two came in one set. That's them. They do add a lovely shine to the page. I'll try and I'll lift this up. There you go. You can see each of the colours there shining. And I wouldn't go over with a big area with these pens because they do go uh, a little bit blotchy. You'd have to go over a couple of times to get a clear colour. But if it's just little bits and bobs on pages, they're absolutely perfect, these. Might as well keep that out, just in case I need it. I've got the Mod Podge. You've heard me talk about this on my channel before. So it's just a very, very thick, it's got a very thick, strong smell of PVA glue. And that's basically all it is, with lots and lots of sparkles. You can see around the lid very very sparkly and it adds a very um, thick texture actually I can show you my little planner here I went over this with the Mod Podge as you can see there it makes it lovely and shiny and glittery and it actually makes the paper thicker which is ideal for when I wanted to make this front cover to my planner I've got one more thing that I copied colouring with K that I've not actually used it yet, I've only swatched it out and it's called Glamour Dust. It's basically the same thing as the Mod Podge, it's just paint, it's not um, glue. So yeah, it is basically the same thing and I'm yet to use it on a colouring page. I think this will look nice over a black acrylic background, I think that's when it will really pop. Uh, to go along with the wet mediums we'll start with my Etsy watercolour palettes so I've got the KJ designs by Karen the ocean set this is not my favorite by hers unfortunately the paint the glitter that's in the paint it once it's dry it actually rubs off which is really unfortunate I can actually show you in my different swatch book so I've got a separate swatch book that my friend Emma kindly made for me and you can see the swatches of the ocean set and I think the only colour that I really do actually like is the top one but I'll give them a rub as you can see the glitter comes off the terrible quality I, in my opinion for £35 for this tiny little palette I would not recommend getting that I wish I had sent it back when I could so Let's go on to the pros. <laughs> Stop being negative. So I'll keep this here. We've got a mixture of different palettes in here. So I've got two palettes by KJ Designs by Karen. Again, the same ones as the Ocean one. But this, uh, the formula that she's used with these ones is absolutely beautiful. So we've got this four set, which is here. That's one set. And then individually, I made the palette myself. So they do come in these little palettes and I've just took them out and put them all into one big one. And then these ones that are in the white plastic, these were 
GD colour. I believe they've actually opened, or she's, I think her name's Deborah actually, she's opened her own online store, she's not using Etsy anymore I believe. Uh, I will link all these things down below, I will go through and link everything just in case you are interested. But, uh, so we've got fine tech, I'm just checking whereabouts all the swatches are. So we've got this GD colour on Etsy all down this row. Beautiful and shiny. Uh, all the rest is the Paul Rubens, which I will show you in a second. Um, Canva, Tambe, uh, Paul Rubens. The KJ design by Karen is all this row, which they are the beautiful. I can't fault them at all. I'm just very, very disappointed with the glitter ones, unfortunately. Um, and then we've got, I've not actually swatched these out because I'm not overly impressed with these ones either. I did do a separate review, maybe I'm using them wrong, but these were the GD colour again. Uh, I found when I've swatched these, they just put the glitter down on the page and the glitter rubs off. I didn't see many reviews, I didn't see any, any reviews actually on the, these, uh, these watercolours. So unfortunately, I just bought them thinking that they'd be great and they weren't and actually they didn't come with this palette I had to order this palette separately from that seller which was about £3 on its own so that's all the Etsy watercolours and then I've got the Fine Tech which is a relatively new purchase it'll probably be in one of my haul videos because it is a new purchase which is this roll, the very first roll here Again, I can't fault these watercolour paints, very pigmented, very very beautiful, I think I paid around about £20 for this set and I, that is probably my favourite colour, it's more of a coppery brick red, that's my favourite one out of all of them. But if you are, I'm going to do a side by side comparison of the Gansai Tambis and the fine tech and the Paul Rubens then you can decide which you think is better um, if I was to speak to a new colourist, a new artist I'd probably say go with the Gansai Tambi colours I've used these quite a lot I've had these for a long long time now and this row here and this row here are the Gansai Tambi and they're just as beautiful as well and they're half the price I think they were about £10 per palette, maybe a little bit less. Like I said, I will do a more in-depth uh, video on that. So I'll put them to one side. I've got my beloved Paul Rubens that I have to put back to bed with the blanket every time that I use them. They are beautiful watercolours. They are on the pricier side. They were about £50 at the time of me buying them. They do come in a lovely pink pink palette and uh, other colours. They are really, really beautiful colours. The pan size is a lot smaller than the Ganza Tambi or the Fine Tech. And here are all the colours swatched out. So we've got from this row at the bottom, starting with the purple, all the way around, all the way, that's the colours. And as you can see, they are beautiful. Hello, Alexa. <laughs> they are beautiful. You know, there's, there is nothing wrong with them. It just depends what uh, what you want to spend on your watercolours. You know, if you want to spend a little bit less, there is nothing wrong with these Gansai Tambi ones. They are beautiful, especially the gold. The gold palette is probably my favourite out of the two. Let me just put these back to bed. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever use that cloth, it's too nice. I'll just pop them to one side. Right, next we've got uh, the basket full here. This is the only way that I've found at the moment that works for storage. Um, I know you're meant to keep the stickles upside down, but I don't. Right, so I'm trying to get a bit organised here. So this is what I'm talking about, this is the basket. I will get my swatch page out ready. I probably should have paused the video and done this. Here we go. 
Right, so we'll start off with the stickles that I've got. I've got a lovely array of colours here. Again, I'm quite happy with this selection that I've got. So, stickles are just glitter glue. I do believe that they're more used in the crafting world, but uh, since some very intelligent person <laughs> thought that, you know what, these would be good in colouring books, it's just sort of, uh, yeah, gone from there, we've all started using them. So the colours that I own is Icicle, Stardust, Crystal, Silver, Confetti, Waterfall, Cool Mint, Lavender, Lime Green, which isn't a lime green at all, it looks more like a yellow, Magenta, Starburst, Dark Blue, which looks more like a dark purple, uh, Pink, Thistle, which I probably need to redo that swatch, uh, I can't even read my own, own writing there, Pink, something or other, I can't even read that, <laughs> Turquoise, Black Diamond, which is one of my favourites, Copper, Rose Gold, the Copper and Rose Gold are very very similar, the Rose Gold is slightly lighter, we've got Gold, Christmas Red, Holly, Purple, Firefly, which is another gorgeous shade, that Lime Green and Green, so they have just got a tiny little nozzle and the only way that I've found to unblock these is just use a, a drawing pin or a sort of needle. Um, I had a comment recently, somebody asking what to do if they they were blocked up. Um, the only thing I could think of is maybe add some nail polish remover, but I have no idea. I've not come across that experience yet. I've got some gold paint from Faber Castell. I, this came with the gelato set. The abstract art and this is quite good for just adding a little bit of gold on a page. We've got some of the, the Dovecraft 3D Pearl and that's a stick gold. Where's the other ones? There we go. The Pearl Effects. So you just pop these down on the page and they're, like, they're, they're a little bit raised off the page. Um, if you don't tap underneath the paper it'll be more like a, like a drop but I've noticed if you do put it on the page, lift up the page, tap it underneath, it will flatten out and be more of a, like a button, like a button or a drop or, what else have I got in here that I can show you? I've got the Deco 3D paint, which is a very similar thing, so it's very it's textured, it raises up off the page. Uh, there is the Crackle accent, which I've just, there we go. So we've got the glossy accents and the crackle accents. I do need to buy a new one of this. The top is completely broke. So this just adds a little bit of, as it says, glossy uh, texture to the page. So it's nice on eyes or shoes, raindrops. And then the crackle accent, actually once it's dried, it does, like, like the name says, it crackles. So I've used this on like, um, snake skins, tortoise shells, that sort of things, bird beaks, that's really good for this. So it adds a really nice texture. I like to add textures and whatnot to the page. I don't like just basic um, coloured pencil. I more or less always add something out of this basket anyway. So let's bring you back out. So that's that basket. I'm just double checking that I've not forgot anything else. The last things I can think of are my embossing powders, glitters, and I've got some Winsor & Newton gold and silver ink. You have to give these a really, really good shape before using them, but as you can see, they are gorgeous. So I'd probably recommend, actually, if you wanted, like, a gold watercolour paint, and it was just the gold that you was after, maybe try this first. It is really opaque though, it will cover up any black lines on colouring pages, so you have to be very, very careful not to go over the lines with this. You, you have to be super duper careful. And I've got some embossing powders that I just use, either the Distress Inks with stamps, stamp it on a page, emboss it, heat it, uh, or I use these sort of pens to add my own designs like you know, flowers, stars, dots, whatever. I don't actually know what these are called. 
but it's like a little pillow doesn't it but it's got powder in it and then you rub that on the page before you put the embossing po embossing powder down and then the powder won't stick to anywhere other than the where you put the ink the glitters i have got just these are actually nail art glitters but they work perfectly well for colouring pages. I just go over the top with a hairspray. Uh, I'm just looking for my. Here we, here we go. There's one. The glitters from here are absolutely stunning. I'm not going to be able to find my really, really favourite one. I'm a, my favourite is favourite. It might be in, a, in another pile. Uh, yeah, there it is actually. So these are the wool embossing powders, but the sparkle glitters. So you can mix these with the the embossing powders to create it, you know, sparkly effect. Or the way that I've been using these is basically just putting glue on the page. So I've got a little tiny glue pen. So I'll go around an area that I want to be shiny, you know, really glitterer with that. And it does come out blue, so you know when you put it. And this is my favourite out of the two. Look. I don't want to move it too much because it's going to end up falling everywhere. But I've not found a glitter that is so shiny and gorgeous as this one. But there is, a, I've got a, it's more of a coppery gold colour. I'll just move that as well without spilling it everywhere. So this will be really nice for Christmas time. I didn't have this at Christmas. So that will be really nice. So this is what I mean for instance, I've got these little plastic bags and I mixed the embossing powders with, I apologise for my hands, I was using ink last night and I've not managed to get it off. <laughs> uh, I've mixed the embossing powders with some of the glitter so it embosses at the same time. And then probably the very last thing that I occasionally do use on colouring pages is washi tape. Well, I've not swatched these out, I've not you know, cut them out and put them in my uh, swatch book think of the words because you know you can see the colours and whatnot here so I haven't got a massive array of these because I don't use these all that often but you know I've got a nice selection there if I do ever want to use them so I think that's probably that's probably it I mean all my colouring pencils the alcohol markers I think that's probably it. the brochure powders you've seen these before I've done a video just on them but yeah, that is everything that I use to put any sort of embellishment on my colouring pages. So I do hope you enjoyed the video and I do hope that you stayed to the, till the end. You stay safe and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.